What's good YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you how to color grade the video on CapCut, not DaVinci Resolve, not Premiere Pro, just on CapCut you will edit a good video, especially the S-Log video, the RAW video, the flat color, so you will able to edit really good video on S-Log. So let's get started. So as you can see here, we have uh, this video look really flat as log without color so on CapCut uh, this is just the video I drag and drop the video here as any video editor so before we start I I like to use something we call it LUT so I use a LUT from S-Log3 to Rec709 so this is makes the video more easier than work than video without anything so i came here to adjustment i already downloaded this i will uh, give you this in the description so the video now it's raw so i put this slot and as you can see you can read here uh, scenic color as log 3.q why because in the shooting you have to use the same settings and after you will download the lot that will work the same uh, same dimension and same settings with the video that you are working on it now so this is before applying the LUTs and this is after this is before and this is after it's not that much but it looks really good so what we will do now we will make the size of this lot till the end of the video that we are trying so as you can see the video looks uh, too bright so what we, where we will start we will start to come in, in click on the video and we will look for adjust animation adjust here and we will go down that is here adjustment so here there is temperature and also we have tints also saturation and also we have the lights here we have the exposure contrast highlight shadow everything you have here and also this is the the curve in luma it's really important so we're gonna start with using this you can see here it's too bright and here it become less bright and also the light here if we turn it a little bit down and also we drag this a little so it will be much better so you can see before and after it's much better so now we are we will back into the the basic and we gonna make it because i was using the light here yellow and also on the right it's a little bit yellow so i'm gonna push this on three so or six yeah also the exposure we're gonna try but i think the exposure looks a little bit i'm gonna try to make it just minus one contrast it's good like you see if you put it too high it's not good if you put it too down it will be like flat like before we will use it like just one two three that's good also the highlight it's we have here the ring light in the back and also we have light here and also some on the face so we will not put it too much so i'm gonna put it just minus one so also the shadow it's the most important you can you can see when you take down turn down the shadow it will be here on the back it's a little bit dark so i'm gonna use it just a little bit like this so look now before and after now we are not touching just the color we are just trying to put the white balance and the color everything also here we have the black so the black it's if you put it it will be too flat and also here too much black so I'm gonna use it like I want to see to look a little bit um, cinematic so it depends on you also whatever you see it's good uh, yeah sharpness and clarity we will not talk about this also 
the brilliance. I'm gonna talk about this later. Uh, okay, so now we have something uh, also good. I'm gonna go to the, not the curve. Okay, we have here the color wheels. So this is the most important thing because the color and like the vivid color and everything that bring everything into life, it's becoming here. So here we have the middle gray. If we put this up, saturation a little bit up, you will see the difference. And also here we can control the saturation in the shadow. So here in the back, as you can see in the back, if we put it up, you will see the color change here and also in some places like here, the hands and also in the back. So I'm gonna put this a little bit down and also you can control the, the shadow here, as you can see. If we took it a little bit down, you will see there is some uh, really crazy uh, something on the face so we're gonna make it back so a little bit of saturation and also a little bit down on the ink so here I want to show in the back I want to look a little bit blue so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this no like this yeah this looks really good and also in the middle gray I'm gonna make it lit look yes okay the offset now you can see if you turn it up it will be much saturation so you have to choose until you feel that you are good with for me I'm gonna use just uh, like this the tint I, I don't think I need it too much because it will uh, bring something really uh, strange so I'm gonna use it just 0.2 here I'm gonna use this little bit no, I'm gonna use this um, yeah. so look the difference now if without and with the color wheels so the difference it's a huge and also if we zoom in look everything looks really good now so now we will back into the this panel if you want to put some lots this is I'm gonna talk about this later I have for example this slot and you will also edit look here before and after so I'm gonna talk about this later I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk about this today and also I'm gonna talk about auto adjust color match I don't like to use the auto auto adjust on anything because it's not look good but now if you can see if we turn off this and also look it's it's really really huge look now it looks different with everything you see now it's a flat and if we put the lots here color here and also the color adjustment looks really good so now if you want it to be for example more saturated like in the back you can put the shadow a little bit down like this and also the contrast you can make it i think this is looks better for me for me this is looks much better than before but you can adjust more and you can use more so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and also put like put comment and the next video i'm gonna show you exactly how to put lots and how to put everything on your video thank you so much see you on the next video